In this experiment, let us try to evaluate the figure of merit of a moving coil galvanometer and in our case, it's a ballistic galvanometer. Please make sure that you have watched the video on introduction to ballistic galvanometer before watching this experiment. Here, when a current flows through this coil placed in between two pole pieces of a magnet, it experiences a torque. The deflecting torque experienced by the current carrying coil tau will be equal to MBIA, where N is the number of turns of the coil, B the magnetic field, I the current through the coil and A the area of the coil. Now under equilibrium, we can write this deflecting torque will be equal to the restoring couple and it can be represented as C into theta, where C is the couple per unit twist and theta is the deflection produced. So on equating these two under equilibrium, I can write I is equal to C theta by NBA or that is equal to K dash theta, where I have defined K dash as C by NBA. This is a constant and it is known as reduction factor or galvanometer constant. If I represent K as the current required for unit deflection on the scale of a galvanometer arrangement kept at 1 meter away from the mirror, then I can call K as the figure of merit of the instrument. Anyway, the experiment is based on the principle that the current flowing through the galvanometer is proportional to the deflection theta and it is related by a constant called K dash. Coming to the experimental circuit, the fact that BG is a highly sensitive instrument we can only send a very small current of the order of microamperes through the BG. So, in order to make this current I very small, you need to have a potential divider arrangement. That is this primary circuit. Here, the accumulator voltage E drops across resistance P and Q in the circuit. P is chosen such that it is very much smaller than the Q resistance. For example, if Q was 9998, you can take P as 2 ohms. So that the drop across the P, which I have denoted as V, will be very small. It is this voltage that drives the current through this BG circuit, the secondary circuit. Now, to calculate this I, let us first calculate I dash. I dash will be equal to E by P plus Q. So, voltage V will be equal to I dash into P. So, V is equal to I dash into P is equal to E by P plus Q into P. Now, the current through the secondary I will be equal to V by G, the galvanometer resistance, assuming that this resistance R is equal to 0. So, I is equal to V by G is equal to EP by P plus Q into 1 by G. The current flowing through a BG produces a deflection theta or I is equal to K dash theta where K dash is a reduction factor. Now this angular theta can be made into a linear displacement on the scale. If a deflection of theta degree for the BG mirror produces a displacement, linear displacement of small d centimeters, small d, on a linear scale placed at a distance capital D from the mirror, then we can write 2 theta is equal to D by D or finally our 
current i is equal to k dash theta is equal to k d by d. Using that relation here, we can write i is equal to k d by d is equal to k d. If you choose your d, that is the distance between the mirror and scale as 1 meter. Now equating the two expressions for i, this expression and this expression, we can rearrange to get k as ep by p plus q into g into 1 by d. Here g stands for the resistance of this galvanometer. This can be found out by the half deflection method. The principle is if initially this R is 0 and you get a definite deflection on BG, then by introducing this R, your BG deflection goes to half. Then you can interpret that the current in the circuit has reduced to half because a resistance equal to this BG resistance was included here. So you can interpret that G is equal to R under this condition. So the experimental procedure would be first let the R resistance be zero so that when a current I flows through the BG note down your theta or in fact small d then introduce a resistance R such a way that the deflection of BG goes to half so that you may be, you can interpret this value of R as equal to the resistance of this BG G. The crossfire of the lamp is seen on the scale as a light. Initially, the scale is adjusted in such a way that the crosswire is made to fall on the reading zero. Coming to the circuit, this is a primary circuit that we have made. Battery, the resistance box P, resistance box Q and the key. In the primary, we plan to introduce a resistance of 10,000. That is, in this box, we will introduce a resistance of 2 ohm and in this, we will introduce a resistance of 9,998 because plus 2 will give you 10,000. So this is the primary circuit. Now we will construct the secondary part. This is the primary which we have constructed. Now for the secondary, we need a resistance box R and a connection to the BG through a commutator. And this connection we are taking from the two sides of P. So this is my secondary. I'm going to connect it to the two terminals of this resistance P. This wire of secondary to the two terminals of the resistance box P. Introduce the key in the primary circuit. Place the commutator in one direction so that current will flow through the BG. If you take this BG key, so I am opening the BG so that BG key so that current will flow through this wire onto this BG and then back to complete the circuit. So the key is taken. Now you can see the flow of current through BG is observed as a throw of light on the scale. So let us see to what extent this will move. The deflection has come up to 24. Now we will have to reduce this deflection to half of it that is 12 centimeters by introducing a resistance in our resistance box R. Now the deflection is reduced to half that is 12 and at this stage I have introduced a resistance of 380 ohms in the resistance box R. Coming to the tabular column, EMF of the accumulator, 2 volt, 
distance of the scale from the mirror is arranged at 1 meter. We have introduced a resistance P 2 ohms. Then our Q is 9998. Our deflection to the right was 24 centimeters. And the resistance for half deflection, we got it as 380 ohms. Now we will repeat the experiment by reversing the direction of current onto the CG with the help of this commutator. So you can see the deflection goes to the left. Note down the maximum deflection. Then try to reduce it to half. So you can see that the deflection goes to a maximum of 24. Then you reduce it to 12 by introducing the resistance in the resistance box R. So the deflection on the left we got it as 24 and resistance that we introduced for half deflection was again 380. So you can find the mean of this and calculate your figure of merit. Now what you have to do is repeat the experiment with P as 3 ohms. So that your Q will be 9997. Do the deflection to the right. Make it half deflection and find out the resistance in R in order to make it half. Then do it, reverse the commutator to the other side and take the readings, tabulate your K. Then repeat the experiment for various values of P and the corresponding values of Q. So the average value of K can be calculated the average value can be represented as result, the figure of merit of moving coil galvanometer, and it will come to in the order of microamperes per meter. That is, even one microampere of current through this BG will give you a deflection of one meter. So it is very clear, it is a very sensitive instrument for current have understood this experiment to determine the sensitivity of ballistic galvanometer. Thank you.